Hi guys, welcome to Money Theory. In today's video, we're going to talk the, about the five F's to life. This video is sponsored by our Patreon members. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon. Link in the description below. Now, there's several variations to that depending on what source you're looking at. But the main idea is that there are several aspects that you want to focus on in order to have a complete or happy life. And that's important to know because money isn't everything. So in this example, it's faith, family, fitness, finance, and fulfillment. And notice that it's kind of similar to the Maslow hierarchy of needs. That is physiological needs, which is the natural things you need in order to survive. Safety and security is sort of like having a job and financial stability. Love and belonging just means connection with other people. Self-esteem is the confidence. And self-actualization is like a fulfillment with your life. So we mentioned earlier, money isn't everything. And it's important to know because money is only one aspect in life. It's not going to bring happiness. It's more of a tool in order to pay for things that you need or to survive or to enjoy yourself. And there's a famous quote by Jim Carrey. It says, I hope everybody could get rich and famous and they have everything they've ever dreamed of so that they will know that it's not the answer. So let's break down each of these examples and we'll also, for fun, compare it to the Maslow hierarchy of needs. So the first example here is faith. This is essentially religious faith, but if you're agnostic or atheist, it can just be having faith in yourself. Something that can give you confidence and the strength whenever you're facing challenges. For Maslow, slimmer to self-esteem. You see confidence right here. Now the next example is family. There is a famous quote, No man is an island. It essentially means that we need interpersonal relationship in our lives. And famously, during the COVID lockdowns, people had to isolate themselves. So it is a reminder that when you don't have that connection with others, you're missing a part of yourself. In this example, it's just talking about family, but I want to extend that to any close relationship, like close friends. And in the Maslow, it is loving and belonging. You see friendship, family, connection. Now the next example is fitness. Now this just revolves around your physical health. So that is diet, exercise, how it can relate to money is that people may focus too much on their budget where they forget to exercise or they cut corners in their diet. So they'll eat fast food in order to save time and save money, but it's important that you need to take care of your health as well. The Maslow it is probably physiological needs. Now the next example is finance. So even though money isn't everything, it is one aspect of life that you need to remember. Money is there to pay for all your bills, things that you need like food, shelter, and any activities that you can do for fun and spend time with family and friends. In this example of the Maslow, most similar to safety and security since you can consider employment for the security. And the last example here is fulfillment. So this is your purpose in life. What do you do where you feel accomplished with your life? Like let's say you retire or you're near the end of your life. You want to look back at your life and think like you've lived a complete life. This can be things that you teach to the next generation, to your kids, grandkids, or maybe service to the community or philanthropy, something that you can pass on as a legacy. In the Maslow, it is most similar to self-actualization, that is purpose and meaning. And remember that there are several aspects that you need to focus on in order to have a complete life. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed our video. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon or buy me a coffee. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We also completed our financial coaching and business consulting website. Please check it out at moneytheory.net.